Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So, let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. Um, Y'all remember Rasby has been saying for years that he was touched and all that stuff. And people just have ignored this poor child for the longest, y'all. Marcus Houston and Chris Stokes has hid behind the Jehovah Witness for years for all of the dirt that they have done okay y'all and now it is rearing its face i told y'all 2024 is not nothing nice right now for all of the people that have been doing dirt <laughs> it's not nothing nice okay y'all 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 so this guy has went through it he has not only been abused by you know people in the industry they're supposed to have been looking out for him. But he has been abused over and over and over again in the public for even just telling and talking about it. Yeah. Okay. Well, now it's rearing its face again, y'all. And somebody else is coming out to tell what's really going on right now. They're coming out talking. They are coming out swinking. Okay, y'all? And they're letting the cat out the bag. Now, this was just posted, y'all. This was just posted. Chris Stokes' ex-wife, Monet Morton, addresses the alleged sexual assault allegations against him. I can confirm that he committed these acts. Y'all, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. I wish she would have came out a little earlier, but I'm glad she's still saying something now. But like I said, is this the year, y'all? Everybody else is getting charged and sued. Why ain't anybody, any lawyers reaching out to Raz B so he could get in on some of these lawsuits too? Ask yourself this question, y'all. Why ain't he suing them? Everybody else is. They not only assaulted, you know, this individual, the other ones, they say they were touched too. Okay, y'all, they just don't like to talk about it. And my thing is, y'all, my thing, I'm just going to say it like this. Why in the world ain't anybody saying anything? I told y'all, we had Oprah, we got Gail, all these people. You had those girls on there to, to bring down R. Kelly. So why ain't you doing anything about this guy right here at all? Ask yourself this question. Why ain't they saying anything, y'all? This is ridiculous. I married him in 2004. This is what she says. Just days before I gave birth to my fourth child. He has faced accusations of sexual acts that I know to be true. But parties are unwilling to come forward and confirm them. I can't confirm that he committed these acts. And it begins with acknowledging what I didn't want to accept. I married a... Y'all see what it says. Perpetrator of such crimes. Y'all... 2024 ain't playing, is it, y'all? Now it's time for me to liberate my spirit and open up about it. For the past two and a half years, I've dedicated time to self-improvement, working on mental, physical, and emotional well-being, often to sol in solitude. At this point, my heart's desire is for every victim, including y'all. If 2024 is not coming in with a bang, I don't know what is. Okay, y'all? Including myself to heal and live long. 
healthy, productive lives. I seek justice. Chris Stokes, Marquise Houston, accusations, truth, and reality. <sighs> Somebody finally saying something, y'all. Somebody finally coming forth and acknowledging this. And I hope that she stays safe because uh, word on the street is um, they will send up some hitters for you when you're telling. So, you know, um, prayers up for her for even coming forth saying something. And be careful. Is this the start of another domino effect? Are people about to start coming at Marquise Houston? And um, I'm just saying, y'all, Chris Stokes, are there lawsuits in the works? That's my question. Are there lawsuits in the works, y'all? Because that's a possibility. Everybody else's dirt is coming out. Now, we have someone that was married to this man that says they're true. They're true. What y'all got to say about this one, y'all? Um, 2024 is not playing. Is Marquise Houston about to come away from behind them Jehovah Witnesses had and it get was coming to him too. He is married to somebody that is on a missing persons list, y'all. He had been dating her since she was a little bitty something, y'all. Grown man. They said he started dating his wife to be now. Marcus Houston. He started dating her when she was 13 years old, y'all. And he's a Jehovah Witness. He's a Jehovah Witness too. Y'all. Is them chickens coming home, y'all? <laughs> is them chickens coming home? Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Is them chickens coming home, y'all? Because that's what it looks like. It looks like those chickens is coming home. One by one by one by one. All of these demons are being put on blast, y'all. Put on blast. Somebody in my comment section said that things are shifting. Things are shifting right now. This is what they said. There has been a shift. This is why things are turning out the way they are right now. There is a shift in the spirit world. And everybody, everybody is getting called out on this stuff, y'all. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Look a hill, look a hill. All the people that said this boy was lying and this and that and that and this. Um, I guess he ain't, I guess he wasn't lying, was it, y'all? And if she's coming forth to say that this is true, including herself, she was abused by him, then is there lawsuits in the works? Ask yourself this question. They come in at Puffy left and right. So why not hit them? Is this the start of another domino effect of people coming forth to sue this man? And let me see if he worth any money right now, y'all. Do we have any money for them to sue? Because I do believe they're about to sue him. Let's see. Chris Stokes. Let me see your net worth. Three million dollars. Oh, he gonna be broke soon. If he if they start suing him. Should Raz be? Come after of him, y'all. Because I'm rooting for him. I'm rooting for him. He done went through a lot of stuff. They messed, they not only messed this kid up, but they messed up their careers. These guys were so super talented. B2K. So super talented. Nice looking young men. Talented. Can sing. Can dance. They were getting into movies. All kind of stuff. And they couldn't stay out of their pants.
Chris Stokes and Marquise Houston. They couldn't stay out these kids' pants, y'all. They ruined them. And this one right here is still messed up from it. The other ones just, just accepted it and went on about their business. But this one right here, I think he was his favorite. He probably got more time in with him than he did the other guys. This was the favorite to touch. This is why he's messed up the way he's messed up. And going through the stuff he's going. He was just out on a ledge of a building not too long ago. Remember, y'all? He is totally messed up. Mentally, everything. From what they did to him. And now he has somebody on his side that's coming forth saying, yes, it's true. So is there lawsuits in the works, y'all? Even if the statute of limitation is over, is there lawsuits in the work right now? This is what I'm wondering. Uh, where is he from? Is he from New York? Let me see. Where is Chris Stokes from, y'all? No, Los Angeles, California. So um, is there going to be some lawsuits coming for um, Chris Stokes now? Is this why she's coming forward? Because for her to come out and say this and include herself that she was abused too, she could be suing him too. And Raz B better hurry up and jump on the bandwagon so he can get some of that money before it's gone. Because three million ain't gonna go too far when you got the, you didn't messed up this guy's career. He didn't messed up this this man's life. He messed his life up. So is there some more lawsuits to brewing, y'all? Ask yourself this question. And he's going to be broke so fast. Because if he, if he have to even give Raz B a million dollars and have to give her a million dollars for abuse, what do he got left, y'all? And then he got to pay for lawyers and all that other stuff. Is this about to be the fall of Chris Stokes, y'all, and Marquise Houston? Because it should be. It definitely should be. What? It, where, where's Oprah when you need her? Where's Gail? Remember I said this? How can you have all of these females? A lot of them lied about the Art Kelly stuff. You got all these females that then came forth on Art Kelly. Some of them that chased him down. But you ain't said a thing about B2K. Why, y'all? Is it because they're guys? A lot of these guys have been touched in the industry. And not a one talk show host is talking about it. Why? It makes you wonder. And then you got people that's talk show hosts, names on that same Epstein list, y'all. Is this why that they're not talking about it? Hmm. Is this why? Because they don't want their bones to fall out the closet. So they won't say nothing about Marcus Stokes. I mean, Chris Stokes. Them. Ask yourself this question, y'all. There's something brewing. There's something in the air, y'all. And it is get back season, y'all. It is get back season. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching. Peace.